Hey everyone, Jason here from the San Francisco Wine Trading Company. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to find my Boston shakers, so no cocktails today. But I figured we'll talk about scotches, primarily the general flavor profiles of the five major scotch regions. Huh. Thanks, Ralph. Would you look at that? A map of Scotland with all of its regions. We have the Highlands region up here. The lowlands, this little tip of the peninsula here is Campbellton. Uh, of course, we have the Isla, which is known for their peat. And of course, we have the concentrated area uh, in Highlands, the Space Side. In Space Side, we'll start there because uh, it is the most concentrated area of Highlands. Uh, and the flavor profiles will get some appleiness, uh, fruitiness, and uh, pears. And also some uh, uh, aromatics. We have vanilla here, which is very beautiful. Now, in Speyside, primarily they'll age their whiskeys in ex-sherry casks, which would give you some chocolatey notes. And depending on what kind of sherry uh, cask it is, whether it be PX or Oloroso, you get your milk chocolate and dark chocolates. And you'll also get some nuttiness. <clears throat> some nuttiness, and, and that's your flavor profiles of Space Side. Uh, now we'll expand out uh, and into the Highlands. Now, Highlands, you get uh, some soft uh, honey notes, uh, as well as some crazy <laughs> matches. <laughs> not, not really matches. Uh, we're talking about uh, peat, or uh, in this case, <sighs> smokiness. Uh, you'll also get uh, flavor profiles of uh, dried fruits uh, and, uh, and, and some uh, sweetened cereal notes. And uh, all of this is great and dandy. Uh, now, from there, we'll jump further south uh, in Highlands regions into this tip of uh, Campbellton. And Campbellton is known for their earthiness and a little funkiness, uh, primarily their leatheriness. Leather. And uh, of course, it's also known for their brown sugar uh, and toffee notes, as well as some uh, very nice, uh, uh, what is that? So a little bit of grassiness uh, and funkiness in there too, uh, barnyard. All right, and from there, uh, we'll jump off to this large area here uh, to the lowlands. And uh, actually, Lowlands have the least amount of distilleries, and what they are really known for is actually the grassiness uh, as well, all right? Uh, but also some uh, sweet fruits, all right? Uh, some brown sugar and toffee notes, and also some cinnamon uh, as well. <laughs> cinnamon. Uh, and uh, Lowlands actually has a lot of the softest characteristics of all scotches. Uh, and a lot of fruitiness. Now, the last region uh, is probably the most famous uh, of uh, them all, Isla, which uh, sometimes people get scared because there is this uh, thing called the ah! Pete Monster. Sorry, I, I couldn't find anything uh, scarier, uh, so I uh, took this from my wife's uh, stuffed animal stash. Um, yeah, the Pete Monster. Uh, which is, you know, a lot of smokiness. Uh, there's also a lot of uh, saltiness and brine. Uh, rock salt. And, and brine uh, coming from, you know, people say that it's, you know, salty and uh, like almost seaweed-like uh, and savory, uh, which a lot of people either love or hate. Uh, and of course, it is known as the peat monster because if you look at this region, a lot of seawater and salt water gets onto the ground and area there. So the peat, which is the dried moss that they use to smoke their barley, gets soaked and dried and soaked and dried with all the seawater. And so that's where you get all this salty smokiness that is in the Isla region. Now, Let's do a little bit of exploration on our own. Uh, I'll put up a sample together and uh, you guys could explore. Let's, uh, from the lowlands, uh, let's
let's do the Akintoshin. All right, and uh, you can discover uh, all that fruitiness uh, for yourself. Next would be Campbellton, and uh, we'll do the Springbank 10-year-old, and uh, you could look for that leathery, earthy funkiness, too. Uh, let's go, oh, I love, of course. Let's go with the Lagavulin 11-year-old. Uh, I find this to be a lot more balanced and a lot more complex than the 16-year-old. A lot more fruit comes out, uh, so you don't just have that big, smoky punch. All right, this is the 11 year old Lagavulin uh, Offerman edition. Uh, Highlands. Let's go for the classic Glen Morangi 10 year old. And last but not least, the Space Side. We'll go with the Glen Roth's Maker's Cut. Now, all these guys would be put into a sampler just for you. Uh, so you can save some money. Uh, but also, uh, if you Check them out uh, individually. Maybe there'll be a slight discount for a short period of time. Now, I hope you enjoyed this uh, episode and you learned a little bit about the Scotch regions. Uh, so please hit that uh, like button. And of course, for future episodes, hit that subscribe button. All right? And here's Jason signing off. Cheers. Jace, heads up.